Today we'll be making Badam Barfi, also known as Almond Barfi, which is an almond candy dessert that our family eats a lot because we really love that rich almond taste. And the best part is that we've made it without any butter or ghee, so that anyone, including vegans and people who might be sensitive to milk products, can enjoy it. And the fact that this almond flour is so easily available at the grocery store makes this recipe even easier to make. So here are the ingredients that we used. One cup of almond flour or almond meal, one and a quarter cups of sugar, a half teaspoon of cardamom powder, sliced pistachio for garnish, and this is optional, saffron threads for garnish, and this is also optional, and 45 tablespoons of water. First, line a cookie sheet with a non-stick silicone sheet or parchment paper. In the pot, mix the sugar with water. Turn on the stove to a low setting. and stir to dissolve the sugar. And then when it comes to a slow boil, add the almond powder. Mix well to blend everything. Add the cardamom powder. You can reduce the heat a bit if the mixture bubbles too much. Stir. Over medium heat, cook the mixture until it becomes thick. And it should be moist, thick, and slightly sticky but not dry. Transfer this to the silicone or parchment paper and spread it so that it makes about a half to a three quarters inch thick layer. To give it a nice smooth surface, we lined the top of the layer with parchment paper and used a rolling pin to smooth it out. Now with a pizza cutter and a ruler, Cut your burfi to your desired shape. A greased knife works just as well. When the burfi is still hot and soft, spread the pistachio slivers on top.
Then sprinkle the saffron threads. And allow the barfi to set at room temperature. And refrigerate it before serving. And that's it! You can serve the barfi alone or as a snack with your tea.